Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the general reading for the Scorpio. Um, this is going to be for um, May the 9th, 2016, uh, starting and then ending on May the 16th. I mean, it could go beyond that depending on what I see in the cards. Um, right now, these readings are for letting go of the past. So this is letting go of whatever it is in the past that you need to let go of. Um, this is not focused on love, um, but if I see it come up in your reading, I will say something. So Scorpio, this is going to be a five card spread for you. Um, this isn't going to resonate with everyone, but it should resonate with you. If you want a personalized reading, check out the link in my video description box. So I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle. Card number one is going to be what you want to throw away. Card two is what you want to block. Or what is blocking you. Um, <clears throat> card number three is how you want to proceed. Okay. Card number four is what you want to avoid. What you want to stay away from. And please excuse the loud um, lawnmower or whatever that is. <laughs> um, and then number five, the final card, is what it is that you need to accept or embrace all right so i'm just gonna shuffle um scorpios things seem uh, you know very stable for you scorpios usually are very stable um because i can tell kind of why <laughs> kind of by the way the cards are behaving as i shuffle them so i can see this as being a really calm week for you let's see This is very interesting. You have two major arcana cards opposite to each other. You got the devil as the as card number one is what you need to discard. So we obviously know what this means. This means you need to work on getting rid of any bondages, any addictions, any affiliations with people that don't mean you any good, that are just doing you harm. Um, this also means that some of you might have some sort of dark magic spell over you that you need to have taken off you need to get rid of it which is banishing um, you can do banishing during the crescent moon the moon is waxing um, this is the power to overcome this bondage and to break those chains of bondage so this is a major thing that's going to be happening for you th this week Scorpio it's going to be really hard for you because Scorpios are so addicted to the dark side but you don't want to get so addicted to the dark side that you become a slave for it okay now, card number two is what you want to block. What is blocking you? There's some sort of emotional connection with someone. Someone that's, because um, you got the two of cups. Now, the two of cups is a depiction of a woman and a man standing there with two cups. So there's some sort of pact. There's some sort of agreement, some sort of partnership that you need to block. This is what is blocking you. Okay, doesn't mean that you need to block it. You need to discard it, okay? What's blocking you is that, you know, emotional thing. Whoever this person is, whoever this person is that you made this agreement with is blocking you. It doesn't necessarily mean your love life. This could be in any area that you're struggling with. This person is placing a burden on you. They're trying to make you do things that you're not interested in doing you know there and and so it, it's it's definitely a tie that needs to be broken and it's definitely jiving with the devil card um what action do you need to take you got the eight of wands so the eight of wands is a is a woman um and she's out in the fields sorry She's out in the fields. She's cutting down all of these things blocking her way. So the Eight of Wands is so important because this is you actually putting forth the effort. And I can definitely see you Scorpios doing that. There's a message that's going to fly in this week. It's been, it's going to get delivered by, you know, a crow. It could be good or bad news. But this is about 
making hasty decisions. So for some reason, the cards are telling you to definitely make that decision or whatever decision you're thinking about making that you think might be a quick, fast decision. They're saying to go ahead and do it because this is the third card in the reading and this is how you should proceed. So the action you should take is the eight of wands and looking at the the um the meaning of the eight of wands in the deviant moon tarot it's definitely working you're putting in work you have to put in work okay you're probably not putting in work right now scorpio and this card is saying for you to do it this is this card means quick actions decisions made in haste a delivery of important news so I get the sense that some of you Scorpios are either waiting or you have to deliver important news this could mean that some of you might do some uh, a voyage by air you might come home or go somewhere either way the cards is saying you need to take quick action. Card number four is what you need to avoid. It's the two of, of pentacles. Now funny, the picture is of a belly is, is of a belly dancer. So why would you need to avoid balance? The two is balanced. Well, first of all, if something doesn't work, it just doesn't work. We're trying to make it. Okay? The Two of Pentacles is a very good card, but the reading is saying avoid it. Okay, this is what to stay away from. And it's a belly dancer. She's very skillful. You know, um, that's something that you want to avoid. So however that resonates with you, you know, um, I guess that's how you can go ahead and take that card. Um, the Two of Pentacles... is a belly dancer performing under the light of the crescent moon balancing two silvery pentacles against the sky although her moves seem effortless they come with great practice and concentration so this is balance and harmony with effort handling multiple situations so what you need to avoid is too many multiple situations scorpio you need to limit it so that you'll be more balanced okay number five is what you need to accept you need to accept your own power You've got the Magician card. You've got everything that you need. This is a major arcana. So this is going to close out the week for you and also open up next week with the Magician card. It's a very, very spiritual card. The Magician. A lot of people when they have something different about themselves or something special it's very powerful in that so I believe that the magician shows up to let you know that it's time to use make higher use of your energy to create a positive outcome so watch your thoughts your actions your words are manifesting okay um, and definitely banish that negative energy from the devil as well as whoever this this person, this partner in crime is. You need to let go of that. Okay, Scorpios. Um, if you want a more personalized reading, go to the link in my video description box. Um, I am available this week for readings as well as next week. Um, and I will be opening up my schedule. So um, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and thumbs up this video. Have a great week. Bye.